Okay, so I know this video is about the same thing as the last one, but um, 108 Vasudi, I don't know, V A S U D E A, who, who, however you say that, I don't know. Uh, he commented on the last video, the one I put up yesterday, and said that I need to make my presentation better. So that's what this video is a better presentation of the last one. So let's get right into what happened. Okay, so let's get right into what happened. New data was just released at the um, EPS HEP 2011, which is basically a physics conference for Europe. And some of the data released by Atlas deals with the Higgs boson. So if right here we go to the actual data gathered by Atlas, or pretty much the actual data, um, you can see that um, this, this solid black line here, this is Atlas's actual sensitivity to the Higgs boson. Okay, and in case you're wondering, this, this dotted line is the predicted sensitivity to the Higgs boson. But you don't need to worry about that, just the um, black one, the uh, actual sensitivity. So, one of the uh, two interesting events mentioned by Atlas are uh, some of these spikes, like this one where the Higgs boson could be. This one. And so, um, this means that uh, they have basically found an excess in an area that might be the Higgs boson. Um, this one is at 250 GeV, giga electron volts, and it's the largest, and it's slightly above a two sigma level. For some uh, reference, a five sigma level is required to make a formal discovery. Keep in mind these excesses or are rarely the Higgs, or what people say they are. We shouldn't get our hopes up. There is still a possibility that this excess will go to a three sigma, a four sigma, Finally, a five sigma as Atlas gathers more data, and this excess could actually be the Higgs boson. So, the second interesting thing mentioned by Atlas is actually an actual discovery with a 95% confidence level, as you can see here, as opposed to the vague possibility of a spike actually being the Higgs. Um, what they did is they excluded more of the mass range that the Higgs could be hiding in. So, to explain, the Higgs has this range of masses where it could be and Atlas has just excluded some of those masses, um, leaving a smaller area where the Higgs could be in. The excluded masses are wherever this um, black line dips, this, you know, the solid black line dips below this straight horizontal line here. And so these are at 155 to 190 Jev, 295 to 450 Jev, and I think that is it. So it's, the Higgs can no longer be in those areas. It also can't be in several other areas as um, made by other people like Fermilab, but uh, you can check Wikipedia for that. So that's the new data from Atlas about the Higgs. Uh, this bump that could possibly be the Higgs at a slightly above a two sigma level and the exclusion of the mass range between 155 and 190 Jev and 245 and, and 450 Jev. So thanks for watching. Go to the website, comment, rate, subscribe. You know, um, and uh, thank you for 108 Vasudia. I I don't even know how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry. Um, for uh, helping to improve the videos, I I like some constructive criticism. So thank you. Bye.